After reviewing your testimony, Captain Wilcox, we still have a few more questions we'd like to ask you. I decided it would be best if we just slip away in escape pods until we could get a distress signal out. And Captain Wilcox, what did you do after the Angel's crew had been separated in the escape pods? We initiated gaggle mode. We joined the escape pods together and the captain's yacht. We drifted for weeks. Some of my colleagues are of the opinion that you may have carelessly taken the Angelus and her escorts into a dangerous situation without prior investigation. Sir, I already explained this. I was under order from the highest level of Starfleet to undertake this mission. Do you believe you took adequate precautions? Yes, of course. We sent an escort to check out the service. I see. Well, Captain, I don't think Starfleet will bring any official charges against you. You did a good job of providing for your crew during their exile. We're all glad that the war with the Empire is over, and the Dominion War continues to tax our resources. We could use a good captain on the front lines. If you feel up to it, I may have a ship ready for you. I don't know. I've been through a lot in this last six months. We went through hell and back. I'm not sure I'm ready for that again. Captain Cole dropped by my office the other day. Jennifer, I believe she's a friend of yours? Yes. Uh, we were at the Academy together. She's helping me get my place back in order. Yes, she thought for sure you'd want this command. She'll be your first officer. Hmm. Now you've piqued my interest. Captain, report to Space Talk tomorrow at 0600. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thanks, Max. Never call me that in uniform. You're dismissed. So, how did it go? Oh, well, I'm not being bored, Marshall. At least, not yet. Let's go have a drink, and I'll take you all around. Right. Very good. Your usual ladies? Thanks, Brug. Uh, are they all done with you? Yes, they are. Um, oh, I told him about the time you saved Lieutenant Tenenbaum, the time he fell down the turbo shaft. <laughs> you ought to give you a medal for that stunt. Oh, my God. Um, where, where's the little umbrella? Sorry, Captain, we're fresh out. Oh, well, why don't you just replicate one? We don't, sir, know that replicate talk here. Alcohol's real, so the umbrellas. You know, Jennifer got me a ship. I heard she's something, isn't she? Yeah, looks like I'm gonna need a chief engineer again. <gasps> Ooh, I'm game, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you on board tomorrow. <clears throat> Smooth. to leave the place in such a mess. I got my orders the other day. It's a top secret mission, so I'm not sure when I'll see you again. Next month's rent is on the kitchen counter. Good luck with the inquiry. Bye. Come in. Surprise! Surprise! Oh my gosh! Congratulations, oh. Captain. Oh, wow, look at this. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Hey, we had to surprise you. Oh. oh, I just wish the place were in better shape. Oh, hey, that's why I'm here. Oh, no, no, no. That's not necessary. Oh, let that boy complete. <laughs> Captain, do you have a knife? Because I'd really like to try this pie. Oh, yeah, it's in the kitchen. We received our orders today. Apparently, Jeff and Wes is all packed together again. Thank you so much, Jen. You're welcome. Word has it there's a lot of media attention surrounding your story. Really? Captain. Oh, thanks, Jake. No problem. It's the least I can do for someone to save my life. Hey, 
Jason, quit cleaning and come get a piece of pie. Just a minute, Captain. You know, I'm starting to think this could really be fun. All of us back together again. Here, here, here. here. Welcome aboard the Angelus A, Captain. Thanks, number one. Hey, you deserve it. Computer, turn over all command functions to Captain Wilcox. So, how was the honeymoon, Lieutenant? A little too short, Captain. All right, we'll take care of that ring. I will. Well, now that we have all that out of the way, I believe a tour of the ship is in order. Here to start with engineering, Captain. An excellent idea, Commander. We'll meet you there. And whom do we have here? Crewman Whiting, ma'am. Is this your first assignment, Crewman Whiting? Yes, ma'am. Above our engine capacity. Warp 9.975, Captain. Well, by all means, let's get it online. Right away, Captain. What are you waiting around for? You heard the captain, let's move it out! Clear all moorings. All moorings clear, ma'am. We're ready for departure, Captain. Thank you for joining us at our commissioning. I am Captain Wilcox, commanding officer of the Angelus A. For now, let's see if this bird will even fly. Helm, take it out. Wait a minute, where's our helmsman? Jason, what are you searching for? <sighs> Just my place in the stars, I suppose. I mean, I don't even know where to go in life right now. I've got nothing left back home. And sometimes I'm even afraid to go into the future. What should I do? Well, I don't know just where your place is in the universe, but right now you're vital to the movement of this ship. The ship, oh my gosh. Um, uh, uh, I'm really sorry about this, uh, Counselor, but I I'm late for my ship. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, thanks for the banana split, but bye. Bridge to Ensign Munoz. This is Ensign Munoz, go ahead. Ensign, where the hell are you? You're supposed to be up here in the bridge. Get your butt in gear and move it. And I mean now, mister. Uh, confirmed, sir. I mean ma'am. Sorry, I'm on my way. This is Angelus, requesting permission to depart. Permission to depart is granted, Captain Wilcox. Have a safe and calm journey. Helm, take us out. Hi, Captain. Ensign Munoz. Ahead one quarter. Thrusters at station keeping. Cardassian border, maximum warp. Course laid in. Engage. What's our ETA? A little over 72 hours. I'll be in my ready room. You had the bridge, number one.
kann. Settling in? Yes, it feels good to be back. Are we headed to the front lines? That's right. Starfleet wants us to send a clear message to the Dominion that we can turn out our ships just as fast as they can. Force may be the only way we can win this war. That's what Starfleet Command is betting on. Runabout Willamette to USS Orion. This is Orion. Go ahead, Willamette. I'm sending my coordinates. I should arrive in your position at 22 hours. Roger, Willamette. We should pick you up in sensors in 19 hours. Willamette out. Rendezvous coordinates, Captain. Hold position here. Now answering all stops, sir. Commander Baroon's shuttle will not be arriving for another hour. I'll be in my ready room until then. Cadet? Captain? Who does, right? So, how do you like the Angelus? Fine, thanks. The commander just asked me to bring this pad down to engineering. Yeah, the way things are going on around here. I'll be assistant chief engineer soon. Really? That's great. Yeah, there isn't anything down here I can't fix. Well, as our pilot, I will try and make sure that you don't have to fix her. That would be very considerate of you. See you later. Cadet? Sure. You know, I talked to Starfleet this morning. Seems that after I'm finished with this tour of duty as an observer on the Angelus, I'm gonna be considered for a command of my own. Ooh, a position of power. Now, I will need a chief science officer. Do you know any possible candidates? I'd love to. Besides that, you know, I couldn't stand to be away from you for too long a time. Hello there. Commander. Deck 43. You know, I'm really looking forward to this tour on the ship. This ship has great rooms. Yes, our quarters are very nice too. I'm sorry, sir. Ensign, why are you running in my halls? I was just going back to 10 forward. It'll never happen again. All right, come with me. We're going to the security office. Let's go. But... Look what I found running around the ship. Do you have another recruit for the Marines? I think so. Oh, no, no. I don't want to be a Marine. I just want to pilot a starship. What's the matter, kid? You're not man enough to be a Marine? Oh, no, it's not that, ma'am. It's just... I don't think it's the right place in line for me. You do understand the need for discipline on a starship, Ensign. Oh, yes, sir. Well, then you're going to abide by my rules from now on? Sir, yes, sir. All right, have a seat. We need another one for poker. Oh, but sir, you don't understand. You see, I'm late for my duty on the bridge. Ah! I'm the assistant chief of security on this ship. Have a seat. Foley, I believe it's your turn. Do you? My pleasure. This will do fine. We will set up our monitoring equipment in here. You sure have some pretty sophisticated surveillance equipment. 
I'll let you get to work now. Please, send the captain down. I got his orders from Starfleet. I must deliver them in person. Yes, ma'am. Prepare to get underway. Cargo bay is secure. Commander Baroon is setting up down there. She requested that you come down. All right, you have the bridge, Mr. Wolf. Yes, sir. Commander, what was so urgent? This. Commander, we're receiving orders for Starfleet Command. Coded message with Captain only. Right up to the ready room. Captain to the bridge. Explosive decompression on deck 15. It's the cargo bay, sir. Bridge to cargo bay 12. Captain, come in. This is the captain. There's been an accident. Commander Maroon is dead. I see you, Kukul. And I you, Tikwijnesh. My heart sings with your memory. Be careful there on the front lines. I worry. Care is not for warriors. A death in battle is a death with honor. I know that, but death won't let me see you again. You'll see me soon enough, if Kalas wills. I'll try to get away in a few days, but can't promise. My ship is far from your patrol area, and transport will be difficult. I know you'll find a way. Our heart speed is one. The way will be made open to us. I love you, my fierce fire of Kotnos. And I you, Tigwitch Nash. Go with honor. Kapla. I just received our orders from Starfleet. We'll be engaging the phased cloaking system. Helm lay in a course of 274 Mark 113. Maximum warp. Phased cloak standing by. Sir, that course will take us directly into Cardassian space. That is correct. Make it so. Aye, sir. Engaging phased cloaking system. Careful, careful, careful. Take it easy, take it easy. What seems to be a problem, gentlemen? Uh, he broke his leg in a combat simulation on the holodeck. Have a seat, gentlemen. I fell down a turbo shaft again. Well, if you'd been paying attention to the Cardassian coming up behind you, you wouldn't have had that problem, would you? I thought you were supposed to be watching my back. <laughs> Don't make me hurt you. That's nice, gentlemen. We will see why I set the bone. Hey, hey, what about the anesthetics? So we'll clean it out. Hey, hey, but, but... Ah! Oh! You put him up to this, didn't you? Hey, no comment. Besides, you're a Marine. You can take it. Oh, that's not even funny. So when's our new chief medical officer supposed to arrive? I haven't heard anything yet. It's either me or the EMH. I think I'll take my chances with the EMH from now on. Suit yourself. Let's get back to the poker game. Crimin Foley's probably already stacked the deck against us. I'm gonna go sleep this off. No, you're not. Come on. We're approaching the coordinates, slowing to one half impulse. Captain, I'm picking up 24 Dominion warships directly ahead. Disengage the cloak. Captain, have you gone mad? Do it, or you'll be relieved of command. We're being hailed. Binary only. They're requesting that you beam aboard. Acknowledged. Lower shields. Prepare to transport me to the warship. Sir, what is going on? I have a meeting with the Dominion. Starfleet has deemed this meeting crucial enough to risk this ship. At least allow me to assign armed guards to you. That won't be necessary.
Disengaging shield, sir. Standing by. Energize. The Jemadar shields just went up. Sir, the captain is remotely accessing our computers. He's tapping into the environmental systems. What? the captain wilcox what um go ahead sorry to bother you captain but we have an urgent message from starfleet as admiral max cervantes put it through hi max decided to court martial me after all i'm sorry to disturb you sleep captain we've lost contact with uss orion a new prototype ship equipped with a quantum phasing cloaking device. They run a covert reconnaissance mission along the Cardassian border. They were supposed to report in to us 12 hours ago, and that hasn't happened. So how can I help? With a few modifications to your sensors, you should be able to lock onto the ID signal. They may be cloaked, but you should be able to find them, if they're still out there. Do not enter Cardassian space. We don't want the Dominion to know we have this new technology. Are we the closest ship? I'm afraid so. We're sending backup, and the Klingons and Romulans have been notified. I'm sending you the Orion's last known coordinates now. We'll get right on it. Thanks, Janice. It's probably nothing. Just a communications glitch. But we can't take that chance. You understand? Yes, sir. Good. Cervantes out. Mr. Munoz, set course 253 Mark 109. Maximum warp. Aye, Captain. This will be our first chance to test our metal. Captain Cole, please assemble the senior staff in the conference lounge. Right away, Captain. Where's the battle? Hopefully there will be no battle. Here's the situation. Starfleet's lost contact with the USS Orion, a starship with a prototype phased cloak. She was ordered to conduct reconnaissance along the Cardassian border. Isn't that Captain Knapp's ship? That's right. I've learned my roommate, Commander Burren, was just assigned to the Orion. Records show her shuttle rendezvoused with the Orion two days ago. That was their last known position. We'll start our search there. I've already started modifying the ship's sensors to pick up the Orion, even if she's cloaked. Good. Mr. Baker? I've scheduled battle drills twice a day. The Marines are also geared up for battle on the holodecks. Bridge to the captain. We're approaching the coordinates. Acknowledged. Slow to one quarter impulse and prepare to stop. Raise shields and go to yellow alert. Dismissed. Report. Helm answering all stop, Captain. Captain, I'm picking up a small amount of debris. Identifying now. Looks like the containments of a cargo bay. Mostly scientific equipment. Bring a sample of it on board. Captain, I found a body floating in the debris. Mr. Baker, beam it directly into sick bay. Looks like they had an explosive decompression in one of the cargo bays, Captain. Captain Cole, you have the bridge. I'll be in sick bay. Doctor, what have you found? I managed to identify a deceased friend here. According to ship's database, this was Captain Knapp. What happened on that ship? Can you determine the cause of death? Yes. He died about two days ago. He was stabbed with a heart. I have to run more scans, but it was done with something sharper than glass. Mutiny? An accident? We need more information. I just spoke to Starfleet. They've never had any problem with any of the officers on board the Orion. Yeah, but that still does not rule out mutiny. Bridge to the captain. You better come out here, ma'am. We're on our way. Report. We've located the Orion on long-range sensors. She's orbiting a planet in Cardassian space. Oh, damn. Max said not to enter Cardassian space. 
To hell with orders. We can't risk the Angelus, not for a crew that may already be dead. But they may need our help. I better confer with Max. You wanted a chance to show our metal, right? Starfleet won't always be there to answer these questions. Sometimes you just have to go with your gut feelings. Are there any Dominion ships on our sensors? Negative, Captain. I know I'll live to regret this. But, Ensign Munoz, lay in a course, maximum warp. Course already laid in, ma'am. Engage. Sending a task force to Deep Space Nine. If you need any backup, they're at your disposal. Also, several Klingon ships are headed your way, I'm told. At what point do I fire on the Orion? Only if you're fired upon. Not until you have the whole story. You'll have our best. And one more thing, Captain. You'll be violating Starfleet Treaty by entering Cardassian space. If the shit hits the fan, don't look to me for handy wipe. This conversation never took place. Is that clear? Perfectly, Max. With that aside, best of luck, Janice. If anyone can bring our ship back, it's you. So we us out. Captain, we're approaching the planet. I've located the Orion on the far side of the planet. I've detected no other ships in the area. Red alert. Full shields. Ready weapons. We're being hailed. On screen. Captain Wilcox, state your business here. We were ordered to search for you. We're on a special diplomatic mission. Your presence here is in violation of the Cardassian Peace Treaty. I'm afraid we've heard differently from Starfleet. You see, we found a body floating in space. And our DNA test showed that it was you, Captain. You will leave at once, or I will be forced to destroy you! Turn over command of the Orion to me immediately, or we will be forced to fire on you. The Orion's powering up weapons. Stand by, phasers and photon torpedoes. Captain, I'm scanning the Orion. Protecting 12 Cardassians and one changeling aboard. No surprise there. Helm, ready attack pattern Delta. Course laid in. Shields holding. Torpedoes ready. Open fire. Do we know any of the Orion's weaknesses? I'll look into it. Half shields down at 70%. Full impulse. Our officers are taking a beating, Captain. Diverting power to compensate. Minor damage on deck 15. Deploy damage control teams. Captain, I believe I can access some of their non essential systems. I may be able to put their warp core into a diagnostic mode. At least they won't be able to go to war. Proceed, Mr. Tannenbaum. Mr. Baker, get your Marines ready. We may need to send them over to the Orion. I can. Medical emergency in main engineering. Acknowledge engineering. Declare responding. I can't keep the app shields up. Life support switching to secondary systems, Captain. We need those shields now. I'm trying, Captain. Engineering to bridge. Starboard power coupling is damaged. Attempting to bypass. Damage report. Life support failing on decks 10 through 12. We're evacuating those decks. They're outmaneuvering us. I can't keep the aft shields up. Turn us toward the Orion. Keep us facing them. Medical's in the deck one. Forward shields down, 36%. We're getting out of here. Prepare for warp. Take us away from the system. Full impulse. Hull breach. Deck 36, main engineering. Emergency force fields are in place. Bridge to engineering, report. The chief's been injured. I'm assuming command down here. 
The warp core has been damaged. If I can't stabilize it, we'll have to eject the reactor core. Chief! The plasma injectors are jammed! The core's overloading! All right, everybody out. Move, move. The Orion is coming around for another pass, Captain. Evasive maneuvers. Have crews stand by on the battle bridge. We may have to separate. The warp core is going critical. Dump the warp core. Hull breach, deck 18. Damage control teams responding. Reload the torpedoes. Helm evasive maneuvers. Yes, ma'am. Fire! This is Chief Barr. I'm transferring engineering control to the battle bridge. Acknowledged. Jennifer, I want you down there in case we need to separate. Right away, Captain. Shields are gone. Can we get a distress signal out? I'm trying, Captain, but they're jamming our signal. Communication system failing. Captain, I'm not even sure if we're transmitting. Ships coming out of warp, Cardassian and Dominion. We're in over our heads. Take us toward the planet. Aye, Captain. This is the battle bridge. We're ready down here. We stand the best chance of survival if we split up. Prepare to separate the saucer. Mr. Barr, any chance of getting that backup war car online? I don't know, ma'am. Engineering's been flooded with radiation. I don't even know if we can get to it. I want you to check it out as soon as we separate. Yes, ma'am. Ships closing to 50,000 kilometers. Initiate foster separation. Auto step sequence initiated. Turbulent emergency stop. All the turbulence are offline. The ship wipe power failure. So, what are we going to do? Well, we could be stuck in here for a while. Power coupling severed at the four phaser array. They've hit the communication array. I've lost contact with the star drive. We're moving dangerously close to the atmosphere. I'm losing health control. The planet's gravity is pulling us in. Blue alert. All stations prepare for atmospheric entry. Power system failing. The saucer's out of control. Can we beam them off? Negative. Transporters are down. Main system's failing. Live support, switching to auxiliary. Take us about full impulse. Our only hope is to get a stress buoy out and pray that this message gets to Starfleet before they destroy it. Yes, ma'am, preparing the buoy. The buoy is ready. Fire directly ahead. Then come about and take us into the enemy. Here goes nothing. Fire. Report! Hall buckling on deck 27, no power to weapons. The buoy has been destroyed. Damn, did we get that message out? Sensors are faltering, I can't tell. Auxiliary power is failing. We've lost the impulse engine. I need power to those weapons, now! Phaser bank severed at forward array, no power on deck 27 for the torpedo launch. This isn't good. Brace for impact! <laughs> Detecting transporter signals all over the ship, we're being boarded! Computer, lockdown all command functions, authorization call, Sierra Niner Epsilon 005. 
Voice pattern recognized. Command function suspended. I've erected a low level force field around the battle bridge. Should keep them from transporting in for a while. Good work. Mr. Barr, have you made any progress on our warp drive problem? No, ma'am. I'd have to go to engineering and try to bring the secondary warp core online manually. That may not be so easy with a bunch of Cardassians running around. With all due respect, ma'am, we've got to try. With internal sensors fluctuating, we can't even be sure there's power down there. We have to take that chance. It could be our only way. All right. Mr. Gardner, lower the force field long enough for them to get out. Good luck, Chief. You're clear. Let's move. The force field's back up. Wear it. Get up by the captain. Cool. Yes, sir. Baker. Captain, all crews present and counted for. About 104 were lost in the crash. All right, let's take up position behind these rocks. Right. Denim bomb. Yes, sir. Post. Yes, sir. Dave, go up with the captain. Munoz, come here. Yes, sir. Put that on the right, boy. Get up with the captain. Yes, sir. Alex, you're with me. Yes, sir. All right. Get the detonator up to the captain, then set up the scrambler while you're there. Move. Yes, sir. Scrambler, you should keep those sappers from beaming in within 100 meters and or beaming us out. It's all good. Right. Captain, I'm getting transporter signals. 25. No, 30. Shit, they're gonna catch us any time now. They're beaming in around us. 40. We're surrounded. I hate uninvited guests. Poltron beam to disrupt our force field. Can you boost power to compensate? I'm trying. I see Captain Wilcox jump ship on you. Captain Wilcox is an honorable person. She's a far better person than scum like you. I am a god, and you will learn to worship me as such. Scum is hardly the term I would use. What do you want? We successfully secured one of the Federation's most advanced ships. We didn't expect the added bonus of a second starship, or part of one anyway. I won't give you the command codes. I expected as much. What did you do with the crew of the Orion? I've dispatched them, as I will your crew if you don't give me control of the ship. You know I can't do that. As a member of Starfleet, I'll die before I hand over Starfleet hardware to a hostile alien race such as you. Any of us would. We'll see about that. I'm a patient being. Not for long. Take them away! Put them with the others! It's no use. They've got us trapped in here like rats. Hey, take it easy! Captain, are you all right? Yeah, just a little flustered, that's all. What are we gonna do now? All right, at ease, everybody. Find another captain. She's already planning our rescue. Scratch that idea. 
No, ma'am, it's a straight drop off the ridge. Stay here. They keep bringing down more soldiers. We have to try. Right. It's a fully squash taking heavy losses to the south. Have them fall back. They can rendezvous with us at a lower altitude. Right. All squads, fall back. Tenenbaum, give us some covering fire. We're coming to you. Ellis, move! Think, Edson. Piece of cake, Captain, just like Fillmore Gulch back home. We have some people injured. I don't want to leave anyone behind. I think I can manage that okay, Captain. That's it. We're going down. Lead the way, Ensign. You go, I'll hold them up. I'll stay behind you. You have a habit of falling out of high places. I'll be fine. The Dominion has genetically enhanced us. It is just one gift they have given my people. If you would give the Dominion a chance, you would see they are a strong ally. Yeah, right. Bite me, hard boy. Move! They're delicious. Would you care for one? Oh, this is good. I never imagined you were low enough to try and bribe me. I know you have a weakness for chocolate. Admit it. Well, maybe just one piece. Oh! Had you there for midnight, didn't I? They'll have to find someone else to play a little demented tricks on. I had such high hopes for you. I'm so happy to disappoint you. How can we ever bring your people to understand that we mean you no harm? All we want is your loyal affection. And instead, you meet us with aggression. Is that your interpretation of events? All we ever wanted was for you to leave us the hell alone. But just imagine how much more powerful both our peoples would be if we were one. You're nothing more than a band of tires parading around in the name of law and order. So what did you do to the Zenkethi? Genetically enhance them to fight for you? Actually, they've been given superior cognitive abilities. They will take their place with the Vorta as our diplomatic ambassadors in the Alpha Quadrant. We found that acclimates make much better fighters. I imagine they'll be replacing our Jem Hadar ranks in this quadrant. You think every species is yours to genetically manipulate so you can use them for your own devious plan? Ah, it's useless trying to communicate with a simple-minded solid. You're much too naive to understand the ways of the universe. I have nothing further to say to you. Changeling. I grow tired of this petty talk. Give me the computer codes. I forgot them. You have one hour to remember them. Then I start executing your crew one by one. Our captors have become increasingly anxious over the last hour. <laughs> Maybe they're frustrated because the captain keeps eluding them on the surface. <laughs> Ow. All right, all right, hot boy. Are you all right? <sighs> Never been better. Something's up, though. They've given us an ultimatum of one hour. What shall we do? Maybe we can get away on the shuttles. Well, thanks to Mr. Tannenbaum, they can't take the Orion to warp without accessing our computer. The Orion's stuck in a warp core diagnostic mode, so as long as we've got that card, we're still in this game. Do you think he'll start executing us? I don't know. Hopefully it won't come to that. If it does, Captain, we'll give them a real fight.
What are you guys trying to do? Scare me to death? What are you doing down here? Are you okay? I made my way down here from sickbay when the ship was boarded. I hid under an astrometrics console. I managed to get some power to some of these stations. Nice work. I was about to bring the auxiliary warp core online. I'm not sure where to go from there. We have to get Jennifer to reroute command functions down here. Then we can pilot the ship from engineering. Do you have internal sensors online? No, everything else is still offline. Well, we'll have to get those online first. If they have Jennifer, where would they be keeping her? I saw several armed guards around sickbay. If she's still on the ship, she'd be in there with the others. We don't have enough people to attempt a rescue. We'll have to sit tight. You work on the sensors. I'll get the warp core back online, and Cadet, you watch the door. Yes, sir. I think we lost them, Captain. We should be out of their site-to-site -site transport. We should be safe here for a while. Everybody okay? Just fine, Captain. Captain, do you think Starfleet will ever come looking for us? <laughs> Not for a skeleton crew, they won't. They'd be stupid to try it. Captain, Ensign Foley squad. Well, I hope they did better than we did. Ensign Foley, reporting in, Captain. There's heavy enemy forces closing in on us from behind. I don't think we can get through them. Let's make a stand in that foliage over there on the other side of this wash. Captain, we're going to be vulnerable crossing that clearing. Well, we're just as exposed here. Let's make preparations to move out. Right, yes, Captain. And let's get our wounded in the APCs. All right, Munoz, Tenenbaum, you take the left. Ellis, Mason, you're on the right. Best you follow up with me. All right, you heard the man, you know the drill. Assholes and elbows, let's move it out. Is this your first time in combat? Uh. Yes, sir. Well, you did good back there. Just keep your head on. I will, sir. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. The first time you killed a man, did you feel something? Henson, to tell you the truth, I try not to think about it anymore. We've got a job to do, and it's either us or it's them. Yes, sir. But we'll get out of this. I've been in much worse scrapes. Hell, I've fallen down three turbo shafts and lived to tell the tale. Captain, there appears to be some caves about three clicks that way. How long do you think it'll take us to get up there? Depends totally on the terrain. We're probably gonna have to ditch the tanks. We can't be certain of the last gear. Captain, we're going to be here a long time. Heads up! 10 o'clock on! Targets acquired. Fire! Get down! Hit 
wisely. There's only two shots left. Aye, sir. Internal sensors are back online. Excellent. Have you located Captain Cole? Stand by. She's in sick bay. We need to get her to release the command codes. Who wants to be a prisoner? Yes, sir. Good luck. Cadet, are you all right? I'm fine. Chief Bar is in engineering bringing the warp core online. We need you to transmit your command function there. Excellent. We're about ready here. How's it coming, Doc? I prepared something for our friends outside to get some sleep. Let's do it. Hey, onion breath! I want to talk to the changeling! That was too easy. All right, nurse, you stay here with the doctor and his patients. The rest of us get down engineering. We have a ship to retake. We're out to ammo. Full reverse. Hold on. Everybody out. Let's move. There's too many of them. Hold your position, Dalek. <laughs> Get up. Nobody told you to die yet. Go. Okay. Right. It's Starfleet and the Klingons. This is the Federation Starship victory to all Dominion ships. Stand down or be destroyed. No response, Captain. All right, then. Send the IKV Iron Pride and the USS Pathfinder to the planet to locate the Angelus away team. Aye, sir. They're on the way. Closing to 50,000 kilometers, Captain. Ready attack pattern theta. Hold position here. They outnumber us two to one, Captain. Board Kukul Jeep. This is Commander Kukul of IKV Ironside. We stand ready to assist. Can we give them some help? Main power restored. The Orion shields are down to 26%. Give me phasers. Full spread. Retreat. Status report. Oh, they won't get far. The Orion's warp core is still in diagnostic. Oh, they've got the captain. We gotta get back to the Pathfinder. Troops, let's move out!
The Iron Pride and Pathfinder have rejoined the attack formation. Take us in. Open fire. Fire. Bah! over to a Dominion ship just to be safe. No, I'm not leaving without the Orion. Captain Wilcox, give me your command code so we can go to war. Go to hell. Ow! I can make this very unpleasant for you. I'll never give you those codes. You might as well kill me. The shields are floodly. We have to get on the last Dominion ship. Prepare to engage the phased cloak. The phased cloak has been damaged. We're dead in space. I dare not stay any longer. Ah! Screw you! I'm out of here! You better give up while you still can. Give me those codes! The last Dominion ship has been destroyed. The Orion's phased cloak has been damaged. Phasing coils are overloading. She's going to blow. You can't beat the Dominion. You may have won the battle, but you've lost the war. I'll take anything I can get. The Orion's going critical. Do we have a lock on the captain? I'm getting a lot of interference from the phasing coils. Here goes nothing. Engineering, I need the warp drive right about now. You got it. Go! Do you have the captain? She's here. I'll take her to sick bay. Lift's jammed again. I wonder what the problem is. Here, help me out. Whoa. Oh, uh, we've been stuck here for hours. Uh, excuse us. You know what we do with people like this, don't you, Ensign? Yes, sir. It's time to play some poker. What do you think you're going? I feel fine. Besides, I feel like celebrating. Uh, no offense, but this isn't my idea of a good time. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Captain. Feeling better? Good as new. Intership communication is still down. You have a call from Admiral Cervantes. Oh, thanks. Um, I'll take it in the doc's office. Uh, 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 um... Thanks. I'm glad you're well, Captain. I'm sorry about the Orion, but at least it's not in the hands of the Dominion. Our actions are not without repercussions. The peace negotiations have broken down again. Oh, and we were so close. Dad, take a few weeks off of Deep Space Nine. I've got a surprise waiting for you there. I think you'll like it. Take care, Matt. Cervantes out. Approaching Deep Space Nine, slowing to one half impulse. Captain, is that what I think it is? Max is good, damn good. You wanted to see me, Captain. I wanted to thank you for what you did down there. You did so much more than what was required of you. Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome, Captain, but I'd never think twice about doing it again. Well, I hope you enjoy some time off at Deep Space Nine, Lieutenant. Captain? 
You deserve the promotion. I just hope you're still willing to be my helmsman. I'm not going anywhere. Glad to hear it. Bridge to Captain Wilcox, Deep Space Nine has cleared us for departure, ma'am. We're on our way. I can get used to this. You and me both, Captain. All right, Lieutenant. Captain, we're being hailed by the USS Victory. On screen. Captain, the fleet's been ordered to the Lapidus system. Starfleet believes that we can have this war won in several weeks if this campaign is successful. Then I guess you could use some help. We sure could. We'll follow you out. All stations are ready for departure. On your mark, Captain. Lieutenant Munoz, lay in a course for the Lapala system. Course plotted. All right, let's see what she's got. Engage.
Can we get some privacy? Movie's over. Go home. <laughs>